What is going on, people? Welcome back. Johnny here. We've already traded with those guys. Let's go trade with these cats. We are playing some Rim World. This is the Night of the Living Dead playthrough, and our survivors are going to make it to Solar Flare's ending. The spaceship, which is still way over here, but we have. We have how much food do we have? 52.5 days. We're making great speed on these roads. We should be doing some foraging. We got animals. Ah, uh, Hold on. I don't know if I can abandon this without it crashing the game. Looks like we're good. I just wanted to save before. Because <laughs> anytime I shut the game down, it crashes. So you'll always lose. Like if you save and then exit, you'll lose that save. I don't know why. So you have to like save and then wait a while and then save again like without doing anything and then you can exit the game and it won't destroy anything it's really frustrating anyway please leave a like if you're enjoying come on help me out sad wonder for dav that's why we didn't take dav in the city we never ever ever would have got out of there what else do i have leave a comment i do respond we are going to go over there build a secure zone and then get the hell off this planet fortunately it's not in the extreme desert we m we might have enough food because we do have 51.8 days of food and we are foraging so we should show up with some extra stuff we can make meals out of i should smash some tribals on the way we don't really have any capacity for carrying stuff oh that's so tempting <laughs> god dang it but they're not gonna have any bionics so what we need is a bionic arm and a bionic leg they would have crap we could sell to potentially buy bionics is there any others I don't know what path they're going to take through here. We need to stay focused on the prize, but this is almost too tempting. <laughs> we could get some slaves to sell, but Dab's on a mental break, so I'm not hanging out. We need to keep making progress towards our goal here. So anyways, I'm going to let them walk. They're going to sleep again. The game is just painfully slow since I can't get rid of the stupid original map. But there's nothing I can do about that. Not I tried mucking around with the save file you if you delete it in the save file the game just won't load so it is what it is but 4x speed has been helping regardless help me out think about buying me a coffee man i'm also looking for ideas for the next playthrough i think what i'm going to do is dig through all the mods and see what looks interesting maybe some new biomes i'll sort it out though if nobody has ideas i'll just figure something out that sounds fun to me like Night of the Living Dead sounded great. Maybe I'll do another movie theme. I've done Rambo and now Night of the Living Dead. So maybe I could come up with another cool movie theme. I was thinking about doing a 40k playthrough. Problem is I love Imperial Guard and they always get their ass kicked by Chaos Space Marines because they're pretty much unstoppable. And I don't want to play with Marines because they're like super pawns. So I don't know. Either way, we'll get there. All right, they're about there. We do have a pregnant morath. I got a notice on that in that bit of goodness. All right, we're trading away. So they will buy herbal meds. So how many herbal meds are we really gonna need for the end game? That's the next question. And I don't think it's 215. Oh Jesus, they're only worth, that's piss. Oh, they have a person we could buy. Careful shooter, too smart, beautiful, 24. What do you do for us? nothing you're not even a good shooter no thanks i might buy another mare if i could i'm a little tempted to buy food but i'm not gonna do it let's see we have that heavy fur we can sell off to herbal meds we want to keep steel we want to keep our wood we want to keep our guns we want to so really there's nothing else we want or can sell if I could recruit, oh no, I guess this would recruit, she would recruit instantly, but if she, but she's a crap pawn, I could buy a duck, but I'm not, gonna, <laughs> my son loves ducks, he's just absolutely obsessed with ducks, he's two years old, we'll be back once he's full, start moving again, why aren't they moving, oh is it paused, yeah it is, so once they get back on the road, you see right now they're doing 14.9 tiles per day off the road. And when they get to the road, they just cruise. So we'll trade. I'm not going to try and destroy a pirate city. You need to go in with full kit if you're going to have any hope of that. 
I think after I visit this city, I will send him all the way over here just to see what the smartest path is through this mess. Not visiting any more down cities. Might destroy tribal base, savage tribe base. That'll also improve our relations with everybody. So these two will get stronger ally with Inneron Union. These guys will probably pop up. Maybe you have to be over 50 to be ally. I don't know. We'll figure it out. But these guys will get friendlier too. If we destroy two, those guys will be neutral with us. Doesn't really matter though. <laughs> All right. We're at about our next trading post here. So looking at animals, I wouldn't mind selling a dromedary. We still don't really have the capacity. Actually, we could. But that's going to kind of bonus. There's a moose. Are those pack animals? That's a big old fat no. We could sell some components. They're worth a fair bit. I don't know how many we're going to need at the end, though. We're going to need to build a ton of guns. So I don't really want to muck with that. We're looking for bionics. They don't have an arm or a leg, which is what we're looking for. So I guess we keep moving on. Pause it. See what our path needs to be. Select them. Visit landed ship. All right. Cool. So we're going to go by these guys. Let's go fight these guys. If we bash them up. Can we trade with these cats? No. If we bash them up, everybody will like us. We'll have some shit to trade down the road. And that might be the last one of those guys. Oh, there's one over here too. But then the only other people to trade with are these dudes. They're minus 70. These guys would be we'd be able to trade with if we smash this one when we get on the way. Look at this one. It's got this huge icon. It's a citadel. Oh, yeah, that's a special map I was reading about. Kind of got bad reviews over on Steam. Because it's like a long, narrow map where you have to get to the other end and try and smash them to bits. Those guys are friendly, though, so we wouldn't have to do that. I think we might be doing something stupid. <laughs> So we're crossing this extreme desert where the animals can't eat. And we might be feeding the animals human food. And it's like a three-day jaunt. So we might have just I might have just bit myself in the ass by doing that. Fortunately, that's the only real section of extreme desert. But you can see the meals dropping rapidly. You can see I want to see if they actually these disappear. Because this is bad business. <laughs> and we're only going 15 tiles a day across that desert. Oh, son of a bitch. Alright, all the shit that's happening at the original map can just pee right off. I don't know. It says they can't graze here. Animals can graze now. No. So I guess we see what happens. We had 50-something days of food. We certainly haven't traveled 10 days worth already. So... I would say this is going to eat up a good chunk of our food, but hopefully we can recover some which way. If we smash this base, we should have some food options after we get out of there. Yeah, I didn't really consider aired shrubland. Animals can graze. There's agave that we can get. Never go to an abandoned city. It's a big waste of time. Yeah, I'll probably have to smash this too just to gather what food I can on my way over there. Are you dudes even... Oh, I have a paw. Stupid, stupid, stupid. Lynx is hunting. See, yeah, we don't care about anything going on over there. Anyway, I just wanted to point that out as I just noticed it while staring at the screen. Bored out of my fracking mind. <laughs> Someone's got to give with the caravanning, man. Seriously. We did have a drought event back here, so all of the plants on this map have died. <laughs> <laughs> Despite the fog of war, I can still see that. There's a ton of great resource here, but we're never going back. Anyway, we have people in really bad moods. I don't know why. I guess we can go look. Wreck deprived across the board. Wreck starved. Jesus. Well, I don't know what to do for them. We're probably going to have mental breaks during this battle. They're, they simply will not ever make it over there either. They're a day away yet. This part sucks. <laughs> it just sucks. Cheers to the patrons. Alexander, Viking, Brandon, 
Chew on Disc, Cobra Samurai, Cornell B, Dapper Goat, Dirtle Dave, Thauburn, Dimitri River Kid, Zazu, Excelsior, Frederick, Garrett, Hemlock, Henry Wallace, Josh Grace, Michael Rakestraw, Mike Ferrero, Shiggy, Natasio, Tyron X, Typhios. All right, good. The rest of the freaking goats are dead. Thank God. Now, here's what's going to happen. They're going to get there. It's going to be like 7 o'clock at night. They're going to be hungry. They're going to be tired. They're going to have mental breaks. I don't want to stop, though. <laughs> We're making good progress, finally. We're doing 15.3 tiles a day. So we sped up. I think one of our morafs was pregnant, so we might have a baby moraf here. Let's see. Health. Health. Doesn't tell you right here. Oh, wait for it. These two might both be pregnant. Yeah. Now we're going to have two more morafs soon. I hate to say it, but we shouldn't even go in there at night. Once they start using bedrolls, then I'll uh, kick them in. Anyway, so tomorrow we'll fight these guys and we'll carry on. On the plus side, they also get some nighttime recreation, so they're not hurting as bad. They never get a lot of it, but I got two people here that are just ready to crack on me. Bam. Moment of truth, people. <laughs> Please consider buying me a coffee. Maybe getting over on the Patreon. Just a buck or two a month. It would be fantastic of you. Attack begun. Let's do it. All right, you bungholes. What's that? That's Gazelle. It says, shouldn't be too big of a deal, right? Just tribal people. Zone, expanding, area one. All right, there's really no food for our critters anywhere. So I guess it doesn't really matter where I put them. Especially since they won't be shooting at us. All right, I probably could have leveraged that lack of fog a little better than I did. can't see their base yet. <laughs> we'll know when we get there. Alright, that one's down. If they're coming for us... Oh shit, let's let's take cover. Holy shit, we're just mowing these fools down. <laughs> In this speed, it's like... <laughs> okay, so we took a couple wounds. He got cut on his right leg. That's not going to speed him up any. You got stabbed. Uh, we have some people we could probably bring with us, too. Either give back to their faction. Nah, we'd have to sell them. Here's the deal. We have to go see what's in there. Let's allow the animals over here. Damn, that was nuts. 4x speed is just insane. You have to really... Ah, oh, yeah. So what we have to do is start claiming some doors here. So you can actually see what's in these rooms. I need to make sure no one's going to die. Dav, I wouldn't be terribly sad if Dav died. <laughs> I've had about enough of the constant mental break bullshit. But, hey, it's alright. I don't want to I don't want to be too mean to her. Ooh, there's a bunch of tribal wear. Very crappy. Indeed. You go over there. You come run down this hallway. You cats go in there. Man, that was a worthless base. All right, let's uh, claim medical dev. Did we find any meds yet? I want to find some meds. Nothing. Nothing at all. All right, well, Barb, you just go tend her and Hemlock. I'm going to let you go get tended as well. All right, you come down here. Johnny over here. Hander over here. Mike, I guess we can free you. Do we have uh, anything awesome that we can turn into some type of wreck? <laughs> oh, hey, Mike, hold on. Over here. Oh, beds, nice. Area revealed. That's A-OK. -okay. You're going to have to come this way. Oh, I'm going to... Why not... Why don't you do that? Go, Johnny, go through that door. <laughs> That's why. Okay, there's nothing there. Oh, he has some gold. That'll be useful. All right, claim more doors. Claim more beds. Insulting spree for hemlock. Uh, I don't think you got tended. Okay, how the hell do you have an inspiration and you're on a mental break? Dude, that is just dog shit, man, I swear. 
All right. Well, we have more of those. We didn't find any material for making, or sorry, we didn't find any meds, so I guess it is what it is. I want everybody to undraft. We can't leave. Oh, actually, we can leave. Um, I think we will. Forget this. There's no reason to stay. So reforming. We're taking... I'm going to bring these people. Sadly, they're going to eat a bunch of our food, though. That's the problem. Oh, we just got a bunch more food, so that's good. We got a bunch of drugs we can sell, a ton of material. We have to watch our capacity and not take anything too heavy, like jade. Yeah, we might be leaving that. Uranium, plasteel is always a good bet. I don't really want to take a bunch of raw resources, but I think they are super light, so maybe we'll get by. Here's all those cool colored lights we found. That was the only benefit <laughs> to go into that place, and it wasn't much of a benefit in that city. Here's a silver knife and a jade club. Somebody ought to be interested in those. Man, there's just a whole lot of garbage here. Here's some devil strand stuff. I think other tribals will buy these, assuming we come to other tribals. The more crap we pack on, the slower we get, though. That one's poor. That's devil strand. You have to take it, right? That's 149. That's tainted plate armor. All right, I'm not going to take any of that stuff. There's a bunch of silver, though. And there's a bunch of gold. We'll definitely be taking that. So I think we'll bring the weapons... I don't know. They're all junk. Maybe we don't bring squat. We just get the hell out of here. Well, we might as well bring the hops. Somebody might buy those. Maybe the animals will eat them. I don't know. These are way too expensive to bring, or way too heavy to bring. These stone blocks. Um. I wonder if you sell them into slavery it creates mood issues <laughs> and those mood issues might last like 10 who knows how many days if they were from a faction we could become friendly with i would just go stop at another base and give them to them as it stands i'm not gonna do it all right anyways let's just move on so we do have some stuff to trade now i'm gonna leave those people there it's cool All right, there you go. We smashed another base. We took some minor injuries, but nothing too bad. Why is it? Oh, that's <laughs> it's like he's pregnant late stage. What's going on? All right, cool. Back to this boring ass road trip that I'm on. Well, Dab has had another mental break. <laughs> uh, it never fails. Oh, Johnny's on a mental break too. So again, we ended up with pessimists and... I thought you had some issues too, Johnny. I don't remember. Let's go see if we can find your bio. He's too smart, yeah. So we ended up with kind of a shit bunch of pawns for this. But hey, part of the challenge is dealing with your own idiots. And we're in the mountains still. Once we pop out of there, we should be fast. I'm going to try and stop at every single place I can trade with that's somewhat on the way and try and find the bionics we need. I want an arm and a leg. If I have, if I find more useful things like extra legs, I'll buy them if we can afford them. I think I will probably smash this savage tribe over here as well, but we'll see. And see, yeah, when they're on the road, 30.2 tiles per day. That is phenomenal. <laughs> and it's all, oh shit, we've been jacked. Great. We have been, eh, pirates, is it? All right, let's get our animals to safety zone, expand area one. At least there's food here for them. Animals, area one. And then before it even goes back into fog of war, shit, we have two people on mental breaks. How good can this go? Uh, I need to get everybody that's not on a mental break doing some killing. Dab, you dumb, dumb, dumb. Holy shit, that's a lot of pirates. Alright, we have to start slowing shit down. Dab, if you die, I don't care anymore. I 
think I'm done with Dav. I think I am. It goes so fast you can't even pay attention to what's happening. <laughs> All right. Do we try and rescue Dav? I'm so fed up with this shit. Now we need a second leg. Because you're on the billionth mental break. Maybe they're still shooting. No. I guess we just get out of here. There's some people. Maybe we can find somebody better than Dav. Psychically sensitive. No. Katya. Very neurotic. No thanks. Whatever. Let's just get out of here. We'll we'll bring Dav with because what choice do we have? It's always offering us other pawns, but we're just not going to go that route. We found 16 meals and some more packet survival meals. Hey, we got some extra meds. So when the pirates attack, at least the shit turns out all right for you. You get a lot of worthwhile weaponry and items and stuff. Steel knife, mace. That mace is worth a fair bit. All right, I'm not taking anything bio-coated because, like, you can't sell it. Maybe you can sell it. Does it say? No. It's worth $0 because nobody can shoot it, which makes good sense. This shit's all tainted, tainted, tainted. Oh, we did get more silver. Holy shit, we got a lot more silver. Oh, maybe Dav dropped some of that. So let's just make sure we're getting tended on the road because we weren't before. Come on, dude. She's not getting tended. This is driving me nuts. Did you guys get tended? I might have to stop and tend. Son of a bitch. It seemed to be working just fine, and now it's not. <laughs> I hate this game sometimes. There's no consistency. Like before, she's going to die if we don't do something. <sighs> okay. Everybody's tended. I had to settle. Get everybody tended. And then bail. Which is a big bloody hassle, but at least they're all tended, not dead. It did cost us a little bit of food, but it is what it is. So we are still going to visit these cats. All right? It's 3 a.m. I don't know why they're not using bedrolls. Caravan animals wander in. That's probably at our home map yet. I don't know why they're not using bedrolls, but that's okay. I'm going to try and... I don't know how long this stuff's going to last, actually, so we'll just sell it all. We're we ended up with a bunch of crap from that base we smashed. I'm going to sell six components as well. After this, I'm putting in a break. I'm going to sell the... Ah, you know what? I'm not going to sell them. You never know if we're going to need something. We did end up using a bunch of meds. So let's... Uh, that'll get us 40. Let's go for 50 meds. I think that's going to be worthwhile. Plus we still have... or should still have a ton of herbal meds. All right, we're going to sell the Plasteel, Hop, Smoke Leaf, Psychoid. I don't know why they're traveling so slow. We have 11 zombie serums. We don't need this gold either. They're not interested in most of the crap we're carrying. And they don't have bionics. Oh, oh there's an architect leg. So if we buy the architect leg, <laughs> and we can't afford any more bionics. So I think we're going to pass. I also need to take stock because we might need more more organs and whatnot after that. All right, let's visit these guys. We'll do a health check, and then we'll, we'll be out of here for the day. So you definitely, you need, you need two legs. <laughs> so we already need, that's three legs we need. No, that one might heal. Are these going to heal? That's definitely not going to heal. You have your toe shot off, and this is a stab. Yeah, we're moving so slow because we got assaulted. So it looks like so far we need two legs and one arm. And who knows if these things will heal up. All right, two arms. Two legs, two arms. Shit. Three legs, two arms. <laughs> All right, so we need three legs and we need two arms. We don't even have the money for that. We could smash. Now, you don't want to mess with the dudes that aren't tribals because they'll kick your ass. Another thing to note, why aren't you guys moving? There you go. Another thing to note, definitely don't have battles in four speed. Like, holy shit, that was nuts. The shit just goes nuts and you can't really do anything and then it's just over. It's pretty entertaining to watch because it's like super fast forward. But anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Leave a like. It does help me out. I do appreciate it. Leave a comment. that do respond. Cheers to all the patrons once again. Johnny's fully healed. 
I don't remember if his leg was counted on our list of legs we need. We'll have to figure that out soon. Maybe another episode or two. If I had stopped doing all this visiting places, maybe next episode we'll be over here. It's so painful to record on the world map because it's so slow. Everybody is at least healing up. Everybody should have a weapon as well. Yes. Oh shit, Dav. No, there's your assault rifle. Good thing I checked. You appear to be missing something. It looks like you don't have a shirt here. You're missing... Oh no, you have the armor. Alright, that looks legit. I'll see you guys next time.